the cat is finally out of the bag as Tiger Woods finally speaks to reporters. Woods agreed to interview five days after announcing he will be competing in the Masters next month. Mariah Johnson is live in the studio with some footage from the five-minute limited interview he gave to the Golf Channel. Thanks, Tenway. The five-minute time limit bothered a lot of people. In fact, CBS refused to do an interview because they felt it would hold little value. In the interview, Tiger was reluctant to answer the questions everyone really wanted to know, saying they were private matters. But he did explain how his life veered from the disciplined golfer we've always known. How did things get so out of control? Going against your core values, losing sight of it. Um, I quit meditating. I quit um, being a Buddhist. And my life changed upside down. I felt I was entitled, which I never had felt before. I tried to stop, and I couldn't stop. And um, it was just, it was horrific. For a man who's so disciplined, physically and psychologically, why couldn't you say no? That's part of what I learned in treatment. Being in there for 45 days, um, you learn a lot. You strip away the denial and the rationalization, and you come to the truth. And the truth is very painful at times. And to stare at yourself and look at the person you become, uh, you become disgusted. America was concerned when the world's greatest <clears throat> golfer was lying on the ground with no shoes at 2.30 in the morning, bleeding. What happened that night? Well, it's all in the police report. And um, there was a lot of stuff you know, between Eli and I that, that will remain private. And um, that's about it. How did you crash the car? I wasn't going very fast. But uh, unfortunately, I, you know, I hit a few things. Thanks, Mariah. That will do it for sports.